This is Spanish for Personal and Public Identity, vocab 6 through 10. Before we start, go ahead and take a few seconds and glance these words over and see. You might already know a couple of these words. You'll probably be able to figure out Lider and you'll probably be able to figure out Boliviano, but glance at the other ones. All right, here we go. Number six, the leader, El Lider. How are we going to remember that? Well, it has four of the same letters, L-D-E-R. Remember, if the letters are green, <clears throat> it means they're exactly the same in English and Spanish, and they're both in the same order. So that's pretty easy to remember. But I want you to notice, why is there an accent mark? Mr. Holt, I thought an accent mark meant don't stress the next to last vowel, stress me, and this is the next to last vowel. Well, everybody say lizard. Lizard. In Spanish, if a word ends in L, Z, R, or D, the very last vowel gets stressed. If it ends in L, Z, R, or D, the very last vowel gets stressed. So were there not an accent mark here, we would expect to say Lee there. So remember, that accent mark says, hey, break the rule. Don't stress the vowel you expect, stress me. Now, if leader is leader, Leadership is liderazgo. <clears throat> a couple ways to learn about leadership. I mean, I guess you could go to school and read a lot, a lot of books or whatnot, or you could just put yourself in some leadership positions and learn about leadership as you go. <laughs> you can learn about leadership as you go. You can learn everything about leadership, A to Z, by just being in a leadership position and learning. Now, on purpose is the hard one on this list. Everybody say a proposito. A proposito. Now it helps that there are a lot of the same letters. There are um, uh, five of the same letters. P R O P S. But a proposito. Um, so another way to remember it. I from time to time I sit down while I'm teaching on purpose because I don't want my legs to get too tired. I'm an old guy. I'm 55. Okay. Or sometimes when people are going on a long hike, they sit down on purpose so they don't become too exhausted. And again, the accent mark says, "Hey, don't stress the next to last vowel. Stress me." So a proposito. Now we're going to go over a lot of nationalities on this unit, like uh, Colombian, Peruvian, Venezuelan, and a lot of them end in A-N-O. Everybody say ano, ano. If there's a tilde over it, ano, it means year. So I guess if you live in Bolivia for a year, you become a Bolivian, a Boliviano. And if you live, if you're a Mexican-American and you've been living in America for a year, I guess you become a Chicano. Now some of you are thinking, no, Chico means boy and ano means year, so that means you've been a boy. <laughs> no, no. Chicano means you're uh, a Mexican-American boy and a Chicana would be a Mexican-American girl. But again, the hard one, every list has one hard word or phrase. This one is a proposito, on purpose. <clears throat> All right, let me give you a chance to quiz yourself. I'm going to cover up the Spanish. <clears throat> Why is this not working? And take a few seconds and see how many of these you remember. Hopefully you remember most of them. All right. This has been Spanish for PPI vocab 6 through 10.